So I'm in Downington, Pennsylvania today, and uh, what you're looking at is a beautiful historic bridge. It has a few different names, the Brandywine Trestle, the Downington Viaduct. I'm not sure it has a, a, an actual real name to it. It's a very old bridge. It was built in 1903, 04. Uh, started being used in 06 has a long life of being very important to the area. Unfortunately though, it has a very dark history and in some cases very recent history. It has a very ominous reputation these days. In fact, most local people call it Suicide Bridge. Now, I was able to find an online petition with over 2,000 signatures on it either calling to have this trestle completely torn down altogether or have it be restored and turned into a bike trail or, or some sort of a nature trail or bike path, something that would have cameras and high fences that would help prevent people from doing this. Now the petition mentions two suicides that happened here, but it also talks about suicides that were not reported to the media. So possibly could have been more than just those two. It also mentions attempted suicides. I'm guessing that's people who have survived jumping off of this bridge. But I could not find anything online about that. But certainly there have been two definite suicides, one happening in 2014, and the latest one being in 2021, a 17 year old boy ended his life jumping off of this bridge. Now it's no secret to anyone around here how to get up to this trestle. It's just a simple trail that comes right up here. People, they bike through here, they hike through here, they run, and they jog through here. It's alongside this, uh, it's alongside the bridge here. So it's, you know, it's not like I'm showing anybody how to get up here. It's very obvious, but this is most likely the direct route that people take quite steep. Look, this is the original uh, footpath. Pfft, can't imagine crossing that, especially when it gets to be, you know, 90, 100 feet. This bridge originally had two tracks crossing it, and then one was removed in 1971, I believe, 1970s, and the entire bridge was uh, closed down, decommissioned, abandoned, whatever you want to call it, in the mid-80s, and I believe Conrail removed the last set of tracks in uh, the late 80s. This bridge is about 1,500 feet long, and at its tallest, I think is 132 feet. Now, obviously, we're trying to be quick up here because people probably get upset when they see uh, humans up here walking around for obvious reasons. These potholes, I mean, this, this is absolutely giving way here. So we're being very careful. Now, yeah, it's pretty bad here, Jay. Yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna go. I mean, there's just nothing but holes. Are you going for it? Don't fall.
So I showed you the top and now I wanted to bring you down to the very bottom here where the Brandywine River is, Brandywine Creek, I don't know what they call it, but uh, amazing, these vines, this bridge is like 130 feet tall and these vines have reached all the way up to the top. This bridge almost became known as a death bridge 100 years earlier. Back in 1905, there was a boy manning one of the controls, one of the switch controls. I guess he was bored and tied a rope to the switch and, and a lasso to the other end. And when a train went by, one of the uh, trains when they were building this thing, he tried to get the lasso onto a part of the train and actually lassoed someone's arm, one of the workers or a fireman or something, and would have yanked the fireman out of the locomotive down to his death. But fortunately that rope broke and although he was injured, he did not die. But unfortunately, it seemingly was inevitable that this would be known as a death bridge or more commonly called suicide bridge. You know, it's a shame that it has such an ominous history to it because it really is an amazing bridge. It would be really cool to have it restored one day and, you know, secured from the obvious. But hopefully we've seen the last of that. Hopefully there will be no more. What a horrible situation. Rest in peace to those who have taken their lives on top of this. A little bit of a darker video, but this kind of stuff needs to be shown to the world too. Thanks for watching.